Thank you very much for welcoming us here at the uh, uh, at headquarters in Rome for uh, matters that touch on the laity, that touch on family life, and uh, I'm pleased to uh, be here and to share with you a few thoughts about what's happening in Canada, what's happening in our Atlantic region where I am from. That's uh, Halifax, Yarmouth is my archdiocese. You know, the laity has become a very important uh, reality in our experience of church, uh, particularly at this time when we are uh, facing an aging population and also fewer priests. We have to find new ways of uh, proclaiming the gospel and we need to develop lay leaders. And so laity is more and more uh, actively engaged in the evangelization efforts of our region. Uh, when it comes to family and the family life issues, we are facing some great challenges in Canada. We are facing challenges at the beginning of life and we are facing challenges at the end of life. And so we need lay people who are very well formed in their understanding of Catholic faith, in their understanding of uh, moral issues, but more importantly, we are in need of Catholic laity formed in discipleship so that they can be uh, witnesses in the world to the faith that they uh, espouse. That is a big challenge and we are trying to work on that uh, with all of the efforts that we can put to it. We are looking for laity especially to work with elderly as an alternative to uh, euthanasia and assisted suicide. We need palliative care and for that we need doctors, we need, we need people who are faithful to the gospel and who are willing to serve uh, the people in the spirit of the gospel of life. So those are some of the things that lay people are being called upon uh, to do. And they are responding. They are responding very well. It's a sign of hope for our future to see so many willing to uh, take up the, the challenge of new evangelization and the challenge of becoming a more missionary church.